Hi and welcome to a very cool tutorial about delegation and especially delegates in Swift. Um, so let me just explain you why you need delegates and why they are so useful. Um, I've got a demo application here um, that we've created in another tutorial. It's called Contact You. And we need delegates um, at a specific point um, when it comes to transferring data from one view controller um, to another. So when we click on plus and I choose a contact, then I have a list of contacts with all the contact information here. And the question is now, how do I get the information from this view controller to this view controller? And the answer is we use delegates. So when I click on choose and click on the demo member, then I get all the information to this view controller or I get all the information I need to do a specific action to this view controller. Um, so that is one principle you can use um, you can use uh, delegates for um, and you have experienced many other um, situations which you which you already use delegates like um, when you um, um, when you use table views or anything every almost every um, UI a class of Apple that has something to do with user interfaces like scroll views, tail views, um, view controllers, all do use the power of delegates. And um, to illustrate that a little um, more in theory and um, understandable for you to apply on other projects, let me uh, give you a little example here. We will just uh, use a single view application, call it delegation, um, say next and save it to desktop. And um, we will create a little um, a little user interface for the simplicity of this tutorial. Let's deactivate auto layout and the size classes of iOS 8. Um, and let's embed this first view controller using editor embed in navigation controller. And let's also add another view controller here. And let's add a bar button item to this one, which is going to um, get an identifier of add so that we have a plus here. Now click on the plus, control drag on the second view controller, add a push segue. And now we have a connection here. So let's call this first VC. And this is the second view controller VC. Um, and let's add a text field. Um, to this view controller. Let's add a button to this view controller. And let's add one label to this first view controller. And um, we will say uh, dismiss and show data. So we will enter something here into this um, and then into this um, text field, and then when we click on this button, the um, the second view controller shall be dismissed, and the data from this text field shall be available in this label. So we need another um, view controller class um, for our second view controller. Let's call it second, and it's a UI view controller, and create this one and also assign it using the um, identity inspector. And we will click on second VC and say this is second view controller and then bring up the assistant editor and drag some outlets to our code this is our text field, or let's say a data text field. And let's use a, um, uh, let's create an action here for send data. This is going to be an action. So how do you actually define a delegate? First of all, you have to create a protocol. And a protocol is defined um, in a class. Um, um, 
and not within the class definition. So let's go to the top directly um, under the uh, import UI kit and write protocol. And we will call this um, um, data entered uh, delegate. All right. And we can now define a custom delegate method that shall be um, that we want to be able to call from our first view controller. And um, this could be something like uh, function user did enter information and the information is info and this is going to be a string. Um, and that is our delegate method. So let's also initialize our text field here. Um, and now let's go to the send data, um, uh, send data method. But before we do that, uh, we also have to uh, create a delegate property within our class. So let's create a delegate. And this is now that uh, the type that we have to new use now is the data entered delegate. And you can now decide whether you want it to be optional um, so that the um, actually, it's it's pretty useful to de uh, declare this uh, delegate as optional because um, there it is not always the case that a delegate um, must be set. But um, let's keep it optional now and assign nil, which is only possible when um, when the when the um, variable or constant is uh, when the variable is um, is optional at this point. And now let's go into the send data um, function. And now let's do the custom routine if we work with um, with optionals. We say if delegate, so if it's not nil, um, if this is the case, we can now access, well, let's just say uh, let information, that's a string, and it comes from the and data text field dot text and this information we want now to we want to give this now to our user did enter information function all we need to do is use our delegate object unwrap it with an exclamation mark and say user did information and what is the information well that's the information we have just declared here well and as soon as this is done as soon as we have uh, called the delegate method, we can now say um, self dot navigation controller pop view controller to animated true. So when you click send, the delegation method is or the delegation function is fired, and we can now get the information from this delegate in our um, in our first view controller. So therefore, we can now adopt the protocol we just defined and um, say, it's called data enter delegate. And you see that we get an error and it says um, type view controller does not conform to protocol. And that is because we did not implement the delegate method yet. So we can, the um, uh, delegate method was called um, user did enter information. So let's uh, write this method here, user did enter information. And as soon as we did that, um, we can now um, use our label as soon as we have connected it. To our um, first view controller. Um, let's call it um, data label. All right. Initialize it with label. And now we can just display in our data label, data label dot text the information we got from our second view controller. Now, if we were going to run this app now, nothing really would happen because um, because the uh, when I click on plus, I enter some some information and click dismiss, nothing happens. And this is because the delegate is still 
nil. And this stuff only happens if the delegate is filled. So what do we actually need to do? You always have to assign something to, uh, you always have to assign the delegate to something. And in our case, we would need to assign this view controller the delegate. So how do we do that? Um, actually, this first view controller shall receive the information. That means that the delegate, we adopt the delegate in this um, in this view controller, um, but the second view controller needs to know about it. So how do we do that? We actually just go into our view controller, give our segue an identifier. Let's just say uh, show second VC, and copy this identifier, and we will then use the prepare for uh, prepare uh, prepare for segue. A function and say if segue dot identifier equals um, our uh, the identifier we just um, we just gave it then we want to create our second view controller second VC which is a second view controller um, and we get the second view controller just by saying segue.destination view controller as second view controller. And now we know that the second view controller has a delegate. And we can now say that this delegate is self, or we can assign self to it because we have adopted to its protocol. And as soon as we did that, um, we can run the app, check this out, enter some values here, and you see that they are transferred and that the second view controller disappears. So let's, um, for a better presentation, increase the size of this label a bit, uh, maybe even center it, maybe even give it a fancy color, say magenta. Even increase the size a little bigger. And if we check on that again, we click on plus, click, uh, we say one, two, three, dismiss and show, and you see one, two, three is displayed in this view controller. So again, what you need to do is creating a protocol, creating your uh, delegate functions or delegate methods, um, and then at the proper position, fire those methods or functions calling uh, using the delegate um, object you have defined within your class. You then later have to use in your other class that shall receive the information, assign the delegate to, let's say, the second view controller or whatever you're going to use. So I hope this was helpful and um, have fun using delegates.